In this video, I'm going to go ahead and continue my series on the exact values for trig functions. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the sine of 69 degrees and go ahead and find that exact value. We're going to do so by using the sum identity here for sine, which says the sine of, we have two angles here, A and B, and we're adding them together. It has this expansion, it's the sine of A, which is the first angle times the cosine of b, which is that second angle, plus the sine of b times the cosine of a. And so we're going to employ four values of sine here, 15 degrees, 36 degrees, 54 degrees, and 75 degrees. And all four of these values have been found in previous videos. We worked those from scratch. And links to all four of these videos can be found uh, down in the description for this video. And so as we work through here, we're going to need these four values, and probably this video in and of itself won't be as interesting. While it will give you the exact value for the sine of 69 degrees, the process we use won't be as interesting as, say, uh, the processes that we use to find these values, particularly the sine of 36 and the sine of 54 degrees. Okay, so what values for A and B should we use so that they add up to 69 degrees and they are nice angles to work with? Well, let's go ahead and use 54 degrees and 15 degrees. And I can see that uh, they do indeed add up to 69 degrees. So let's go ahead and get our expansion here. It's the sine of 54 degrees times the cosine of 15 degrees plus, and we have the sine of 15 degrees times the cosine of 54 degrees. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put these values in, simplify it, and see what we have. So the sine of 54 degrees is this first one, and we'll say that's a 1 fourth times, and we have this square root of 5 plus 1, and we're going to multiply that by the cosine of 15 degrees. Well, notice there are no cosine values up here. But uh, that's for two reasons. One, all the values I worked out in previous videos so far have all been sine values. And also we can do this because sine and cosine have a really nice relationship with one another where the cosine of one angle and the sine of the complement of that angle are uh, exactly the same values. So 75 and 15 are complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. So I can go ahead and exchange the value for the sine of 75 degrees uh, for the cosine of 15 because they are the exact same values. So I'll go ahead and do that, and that's the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. And to that I will add the sine of 15 degrees, which is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4, times the cosine of 54 degrees, which once again will employ that nice relationship, and we'll go ahead and use the sine of 36 degrees in its place there. All right, so here is our expression, and it looks like we just need to clean this up a little bit. And so we have this, this term and this term, and all this is multiplication here, and all this is multiplication here. We're just going to add these together. So let's go ahead and start maybe by factoring out a square root of 2 and then multiplying the denominators 4 times 4 is 16. And the reason I'm going to do this, I'll, I'll show you here in a second, and then let's go ahead and put these, once I factored out the square root of 2, this will be the square root of 3 plus 1. Let's put that next, and then we'll have the square root of 5 plus 1 kind of trailing at the end here. And to that we're going to add... Once again, I'm going to factor out a square root of 2 from uh, these two. I'm going to multiply that square root of 2 by this square root of 2 to make a real 2. And then I can cancel with one of the 2's in the denominator. Ultimately, though, I'm going to come out with a 1 8th. And with the square root of 2 factored out, I'll have the square root of 3 minus 1. And then times this square root expression here. So what I have here now is the exact value for the sine of 69 degrees. And you'll see a lot of patterns here. And as you work through these exact values for uh, sine in this series, uh, we've seen a lot of patterns in these values. So I've gone ahead and pulled out the square root of 2 over 16 and with this 1 8th, so they're kind of like fractional, almost coefficients, but not really because they're, they're not terms here with variables or anything. But we have a fraction out front. Then we have a square root of 3 plus 1. 
square root of 3 minus 1, and then we have a square root of 5 plus 1, and then this square root expression that contains 5s. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of move this up a little. We'll grab a calculator, and we will ensure that we have the exact value for the sine of 69 degrees. Okay, so here's our calculator. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, inverse sine, and then we'll plug this entire expression in, and we'll see if it gives us our 69 degrees that we hope for. Okay, so we're going to start with the square root of 2 divided by 16, and we're going to multiply that by the square root of 3 plus 1, and we'll multiply that by the square root of 5 plus 1 also. And to that, we're going to add this 1 8 times the square root of 3 minus 1 times this uh, square root expression here. We'll jump out of that, close off all those parentheses, and yeah, indeed, we do have our 69 degrees right there. So what we've seen now, let's move everything back down, we went ahead and used this sum identity for sine, we have this expansion, and we had to include these uh, four values. And again, these four values were found from scratch in previous videos that I have linked to in the description for this video as kind of helper values. So our sine of 69 degrees has this exact value.